24 hours after voting concluded in the Jubilee primaries in Muranga, there were no results just yet. Though peaceful, the tension in the room amongst supporters of different candidates was palpable, with the results from Kiharu taking more than the expected time to return. The county presiding officer had an onerous task of calming eager supporters of the winners, who had started filling the Moranga Teachers College Hall with security officers on standby for any eventuality. And slowly, the results started trickling in, with the county returning officer announcing the results after verification from returning officers. Pandemonium and emotions running high when the Kandara constituency results were announced with discrepancies. While the constituency returning officer had announced that Mwangi Weria had garnered 37,610 votes, the county returning officer announced that he had garnered 24,023. Jamlek Kamau and Sabina Shege are victims too. Their supporters alleging a plot to rig them out. They normally would be corrected in normalcy returning to the hall. After the declaration of all the results, Mwangi Wairia emerged the winner of a Jubilee Party primaries gubernatorial race. Kamau Jamrek Irongo, 118,274. Mwangi Wairia, 205,941. Veteran politician Kembi Gatora suffering a setback in the primaries after being trounced by first term MP Irongo Kangata. Muranga woman representative Sabina Shege beat her closest rival journalist Waithera Moitherania with a margin of more than 100,000 votes. And when Governor Wairia rose up for his acceptance speech, he extended an olive branch to his rival Jamlek Kemau and the losers in the primaries, rallying them to join campaigns for President Uhuru Kenyatta's re election. The voice of this county has now spoken. And, and I think it has been loud enough. And uh, to my competitors, uh, we went or we walked the journey together. We must have uh, pushed each other, clashed on our way to this point. But I think it was all in the spirit of competitive politics. According to Irea, his biggest priority now was to unite the county, largely divided by the acrimonious primaries. What we are looking for is a more unified team going forward. There has been some element of division in this county. It is not good for us. It will never good for our be, be good for our future. And uh, myself, Sabina, and Kangata, we need to pull together, together with other, I mean, MPS parlance and MCS parlance, and we need to start now. So it's good for them to accept, don't have a plan B of going either independent or even going to any other party. I think the best thing is to join the team, let's work for the Jubilee Party. Let's now work towards making sure that now uh, that the NASA now to be announced their lineup, we should now be forming, making Jubilee more stronger in this county and in the nation. I will take that duty to ensure I bring all the combatants here in Moranga County together so that we have peace in Moranga. I am going now to engage or the women rep, the governor, the nominee, MCS, uh, and other stakeholders to ensure we don't have a divisive campaign and we face our detractors come, 20, come 2017 August in a more united front. Jamle Kamau and Kembi Gitura's supporters did not show up at the county tiling centre. <laughs> Ali Sohome is the only incumbent MP who succeeded in the primaries. Madhya MP Clement Wambogo lost to Peter Kimari, 
Tiras Ngahu of Kangeman losing to Muturi Kigano, Marago MP Kamande Mbuku losing to nominated MCA Mary Waidera, while Gatanga MP Humphrey Njuguna lost to engineer Joseph Nduati. With Kangata contesting for Senator and Jamle Kamau contesting for Governor, Ndindi Nyoro won the Kiharu primaries, or Ruth Mwaneki won in Kegumo. Kama mbuge wa Kiharu, nataka kupea motisha, mawithi wote wako uko nje. Uogozi siwa tomorrow venye tunabiangwa, tomorrow imefika, kwa hivyo kama uko uko nje, na miaka yako ni kidogo kama yetu, kia we unaeza ugoza kwenye uko. John Jacob Curia, Fuchan Wani.